This one is about multi-factor authentication, which is just a fancy way of saying the credit union can protect your account with more than just your password. Here, we'll show you how to add extra layers of security with a phone call, text, or email. And we'll show you how to tell the difference between a public device and a private device. So why would we use multi-factor authentication or MFA in the first place? MFA creates multiple layers of security to help increase the confidence that the user requesting access is actually who they claim to be. When would I be prompted to use MFA? There are two really quick answers to this. One being if you are logging into your account from a device that you don't normally log into, or if for any reason you maybe had to clear your cookies or restart your cache, anything that would require you to reset your logins could potentially trigger the MFA screen to pop up. So we're gonna do a drive-through example right now of what it would look like if you were to receive multi-factor authentication request after you log in. So here I am, I'm logging in and the screen is loading for me and it's saying, hey, it looks like you're logging in from an unrecognized device. For security, we just need to verify your identity. And right here, it shows that I have opted in for text, phone call, or email. For this example, we are going to show how to receive an email code from MFA. Now with this one, it says within a minute, you'll receive a verification code at the chosen email address that you've submitted. So I'm going to open up my inbox. And now I am going to take the unique passcode that was sent to my email and enter that in the secure login screen. And before you hit enter, you'll see right below it, it says save time by registering this device. You can choose either yes, register my private device, or no, this is a public device. This will save you a lot of time if you are going to be logging in from a private device every time. You will go ahead and select yes, register my private device. In this case, I am logging in from, let's say my work computer. So I am going to say, no, this is a public device. Now that we're successfully logged into this account, Let's show you how to update or change those multi-factor authentication preferences. Up at the top right corner, you will see my settings. You're going to click on that and we will go to a new page. This is your personal information page. Here you will find information like all of your contact details and the primary email that you have associated with your account. And then right below that, you see the login and security area. You have a username, a password, and then right below that you have what's called security options. This is where you will make any of those preferred MFA changes. On this account and on yours, you should see one or two phone numbers depending on what you have set up on your account previously. Next to both of these phone numbers, you can see it says enable for text, which means that I haven't set up text options for some of these yet. So if I wanted to do that, uh, let's say I'm going to enable text for this second phone number, I will just select enable for text. And because it already has my phone number stored, it is going to send me a passcode and I've received that in my phone. And now I'm going to enter in the passcode here. And now this phone number is able to receive text messages for MFA logins. Now, if you select the edit button located next to security options, you will have another page pop up. This page is where you can make all of those final multi-factor authentication preference changes. Once you've entered in any changes that you would like to make, go ahead and select the green save button. And that's it, you did it. You successfully updated your multi-factor authentication preferences. For more how-to videos, make sure to subscribe to the YouTube page 
and check out our how-to playlist. It's going to show you all the different things that you need to do to set up your account in any way that you want. And if you think that we're missing something, go ahead and comment on this video below and we'll get looking at that and we'll start making some more videos for our members and users of Together Credit Union. Until next time, guys, have a great day. Bye.